What's up everybody? It's Ominous for Responsible Gaming doing episode 171 of Ominous Designs. Last minute episode here on Wednesday noon. Uh, we're going to publish it right after. Uh, it's also a special episode because we are going to not design cards, but I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks, uh, technical tips and tricks about making the cards. Um, without further ado, there's one thing that I want to show you is, um, let's see, uh, we're going to get the full screen here. There you go. So, um, one thing that I think you should know about is a uh, set symbol. Okay. Uh, set symbol. Uh, when you have your editor over here, if you go to set info and the symbol, if you double click on this thing, it's going to launch the symbol editor. Symbol editor over here um, has a lot of, I wouldn't say particularly easy to use tools to make um, uh, geometry and, and, and construct a design sim a symbol uh, for your set. Um, but what it does have as well is um, the ability of opening an image. Uh, I believe it needs to be a bitmap, a square bitmap. Uh, I advise you do mostly um, um, black and white. Uh, and look at this over here. I'm loading the image. And if I was to check out this image, see, it's just a symbol, right? I mean, it's, it's a bitmap. It's a squ it's a square. It seems like it's made of not only uh, black and white but also um, this particular color over here I don't uh, I think it's just extrapolated to black um, and when you open it um, you get you get your symbol loaded inside the editor and then you can move on to say uh, I believe you do store no you don't do store um, maybe it's because I didn't change it but I think you store it or you save there and no you save save is gonna save it outside so I think you just you just um, validate and then you have your symbol that's extrapolated to all the um, to all the uh, rarities of symbols over here and it's very practical um, you absolutely want to do that uh, because it looks awesome so hope you create some cool um, set symbols with that now uh, quickly, why don't we have a look at the keywords? Um, keywords over here. There's a whole list of existing keywords in Magic. Um, often enough, you need to create yours. Um, see over here, personify is my um, my self uh, custom uh, keyword. So keyword here name is I do believe um, just the name for the list then you have no keyword actually matches no i think it's just for the list personify is what's going to match it in your rule text in your in your card text so you say personify and here is a cost so it's an ability that has a cost and then you have the reminder text if you need one that's going to say you make us this card no 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 for okay so this has no reference to the cost for example but um, usually what I do is I copy paste an existing uh, keyword that has more or less the same way of working, which means that if you go, uh, mm, 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 so fading as a number, and then you see all that stuff. Um, so if you look at a complex one, you might find some functions that you want to have in your reminder text. Uh, this one says, if, if has power and toughness, so it's a creature, then the reminder text will say, creature instead of saying permanent so um, if you want a creature the reminder text will say this creature enters the battlefield with English number has oh I see because um, this is par parameter one is the first one over here and it translates your parameter into a, an English translation of the number so if you say fading with an uh, like a number one this will say one in all letters so that's how it works um, if you look at prefix cycling cost, so type cycling, parameter two is the cost. So cost, uh, comma, discard a card, colon, search your library for a parameter one. So plane cycling will search for a plane card. And you can just kind of customize this. And then it's kind of the same for other things. Forecast, action, name, action. 
Interesting. So this doesn't really have a a template, a reminder associated with it, but it does have three parameters. Um, flash, etc., etc. Um, detain English number. Whoa, this one is complex. Target non -land one word. Jeez, look at all that. Wow. So this one, um, I'll let it up to you to analyze exactly how it works. We don't really have that kind of time right now. A weekend number cost. So you remember a weekend. If you cast this spell four mana cost add four what? Oh, if you cast this spell four mana cost add farm two. I don't know what that exactly does. We could check. Also put an English number version of the parameter one, which is a weekend three. Put three plus one plus one counters on it. You can cast this spell. F I think it's supposed to be four. Yeah, it's, I don't know what that does. It probably just translates your cost into a a more uh, little cost. So there you go. You can just copy paste, create your new mechanic, and um, and be happy and have reminders from there. Quickly, um, if you go check. Um, your cards. So do I have custom mechanics in here or not? Personify. So see, as soon as I typed personify, it has me a cost and then you put the reminder text. Uh, just so you remember, whenever you see a reminder text, you can right click and activate or deactivate the reminder text. It's very handy. Sweet. So those are for the keywords. Uh, now we're going to roll back just a sec because I should have started with this um, keyboards uh, keywords and um, I guess templates uh, is a more general topic and over here I will share the um, uh, address on um, magic set editor forums uh, magic set editor templates this this thread over here has a ton of Templates. I do believe it's inactive as of now, but uh, Picoro used to provide a ton of templates. So if you have a look, see over here, you have uh, Modern Planeswalkers. Um, what else? M15 Planeswalkers. Why not? Uh, black on Black Promo Planeswalkers, etc., etc. So that's pretty sweet. You just download a file and that's here, and you get all of those. And then you install it, which I unfortunately cannot demonstrate because I've changed my MSC from a hard drive to another one and now it is very upset and it's a pain to install templates. But it shouldn't be the case for you. So it should be just a file that you can execute and you'll install in MSC, I do believe. Next. Next, I wanna show you something pretty sweet. So uh, let's say I'm creating a card as it happened pretty recently with, um, an illustration here that is oh I think oh I, I picked the wrong one well okay so let's let's check my the, this first example and I'll, I'll work on the second one so this card over here this this illustration um, it's coming from Diablo it is um, as you can see very uh, tight as you can see oh as you can see like this <laughs> um, it is very tight on the uh, uh, vertical uh, crop um, because I'm going to show you a full view when we selected it um, see this this is a very uh, portrait oriented picture it has the Diablo logo over here so what I want to show you is a couple tips and tricks that I do in Photoshop uh, to uh, help use the illustrations uh, quick disclaimer um, over here, we're not making profit on the cards we control. We usually credit the the others, etc., etc., um, and we have a pretty darn limited audience. But at large, usually you don't want to be alter altering uh, the copyrighted and, and intellectual property uh, and the work of the illustrators. But I, I think we do that mostly respectfully and with extremely low impact uh, when we create magic cards. So. I'm okay with doing it. So one thing that I would do first, um, 
is uh, over here in the tools you have one I always forget where it is it's the clone stamp okay clone stamp it um, start with if you do a alt press you're gonna take the origin of where you want to clone and then uh, I'm gonna augment the size over here uh, we go augment to that big um, so clone and then like this it copies um, it copies whatever you were trying to clone so it's fantastic um, I tend to you initially I would um, try and find a big area like this and then clone it entirely uh, it's not the best but you can you can get away with that uh, at times um, now what I do it's, it's more like a cl clone a little bit apply clone a little bit apply clone a little bit apply so see you can get rid of the logo like this um, now other trick um, you can you, you should really like mix and match those tricks but um, see it, it kind of works uh, especially if you don't you know pay too much attention to it another thing that works is I think it's over here uh, blur or not or smudge uh, I think I, I don't know exactly the difference with between them but basically you can just kind of you see smudge whatever colors that's around into uh, whatever you're looking at so it doesn't always work um, I love to do this for when I've uh, cloned or copy pasted um, areas and they have sharp edges to them um, let's say if I was doing a clone here and like I did just before um, I clone this and then see here there's like a very big edge so I would just kind of try and, mud and smudge that uh, so that it doesn't show um, something like that I'm not doing the best job now but you, you I'm sure you see how you could be doing that uh, better um, and I think the blur is you can do similar things with it um, it's not as as obvious I, I, I like this much I like this much. Um, now, for the aspect ratio, though, um, what you need to do is, let's say, I'm gonna copy this, copy, control N creates a new um, uh, picture and it creates it with the selection size. So um, what I would like is it to be more wide. So I'm gonna go 1000, then I'm gonna paste. And then what I used to do is, um, let's see so copy copy clone over here what I used to do is clone and then you know apply clone and uh, when you do something like this well, this is obviously again extremely um, um, poorly detailed and, and fast uh, fast job I'm doing here but whatever um, but you would try and do that a little bit better and Etc. Well, you, you you get it. I'm not spending enough t enough time to to make it actually look good. But now in your card, you can have a pretty wide picture like this that looks a little bit better, uh, or even a picture like this that has the entire person not cut uh, over here and over there, and you have more on the sides. It is particularly useful for uh, the clear border cards um, because clear border cards. I don't have one ND, but um, or planeswalkers they have a large area around the, uh, behind the frame that is not actually going to show fully so um, it's just going to be behind the frame but if your picture was too small what you can do is you can duplicate a little bit on the sides it's going to be behind the, the background but he's going to see it and it's just going to show nicely in your card uh, here is the card that I used um, in the end and I think see you, you can see I really didn't care all that much I think I ended up cropping like this or something like that um, or I don't know or like this um, so that's cool that's not the best though it like I said it works uh, better with the um, a clear frame kind of cards so the next tip is um, unfortunately I opened the wrong picture and I just hope I have the original handy. Uh, we can trade this one, but it's not it. Uh, let's 
so small. Uh, na, 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 na. Okay, I don't think. Oh, is that it? No, that's the modified one too. Okay, um, let's try. We we have a couple things that we can try. So we can try and apply my strategy to a new card. Unfortunately, that'll be it'll be live as opposed to what I've done so far, which means hopefully I don't mess it up and it works. Um, yeah, this this one will be tricky, but let's try. Um, so copy everything in a new picture that we want to be wetter. Okay, like this, like that. Um, I do believe no, I should be good now. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this side. Let's try and select this side, and we're gonna do edit content aware scale, and we're gonna do this, and see it is not like again we're, we're working on tiny little frames right so it is not great but it's it's something it's it's not it's not awful um and since we work on tiny and tiny pictures usually it i think it doesn't really show um let's see if that works over here so the this content over scale and maybe we don't go all the way we do this because then it becomes really kind of weird looking and there you go we have an, you have an image that's almost square where it used to be very very uh, portrait base and that's gonna help you a lot with your designs and I think it looks mostly pretty good um, save as PNG my test folder and now we're going to MSE and uh, you can't use the entire thing, but you know, it's it's kind of fine, right? Um, it works better on some on some other designs. Actually, um, the one I wanted to show you is whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. It's not the power toughness. Oh, there you go. Um, what I want to show you is this one picture. Um, the I did that a lot on this one. Um, this whole entire area over here is completely stretched this one area over here is completely stretched as well and it doesn't show all that much at all so that was very very handy for me uh, because otherwise the picture was extremely thin so yeah i think with those two you can you can really um do a great great deal of work with your illustrations um i have a couple little tips on top of that to uh, share for um, finding your illustration uh, first obviously DeviantArt is one of the resources um, I would do something like you know elf warrior um, advice to select digital art it's probably the best category for you so already you can see some cool stuff uh, this one is pretty sweet uh, there is a couple of um, this couple downsides is a lot of people are uh, looking for the same resources as you. Um, family family friendly content. There was some boobies right there, but it's okay. Um, yeah, you know warriors, druids. Uh, you can search for goblins, orcs, knights. It's oh, jeez. Um, so there's for that. Um, also, yeah, be, be prepared to see some weird content when you search on DeviantArt, uh, quite obviously, because, uh, yeah, DeviantArt. Um, then, just to quickly remember that, that looks pretty weird, um, when you find a, uh, an illustrator over here, if you follow their profile, uh, you might find their name, in this case, Cassandra Lee Purcell. Uh, personal or whatever uh, there you go you can have the you can add the credit to your um, card um, do know as well that uh, when you have an illustration that you've downloaded from somewhere else like this you can uh, search uh, Google image for it and um, see this says female that's weird um, something I do sometimes if you didn't show DeviantArt in here 
um, you put the image in the Google image search and you type DeviantArt and you're gonna find uh, something uh, sometimes be ooh, that's cute um, be aware that uh, sometimes Google is gonna find you Wow, it's very broken. Sometimes Google is going to find you an image. Uh, it's going to find your image in the links over here. So if you don't see the, so if you follow Google and you find a different picture, check out the thumbnails. Usually they are the same, and you can still follow them and find the image you were looking for, like this. Um, other tips. Um, usually I go as far as uh, try. Um, if I don't find the name of the person on their on the DeviantArt page, uh, I will stalk them a tiny little bit. I will go on their Facebook, I will go on their Etsy, and um, half the time or even more, I, f I actually end up finding um, the actual name of the person to credit. Uh, usually when they try and not put their name on there is that they don't want, obviously, um, their name to be anywhere so you can use the the nickname but somehow it gives me OCDs I, I prefer to find the name of the person to credit them um, because all magic cards are like that basically and I do have another website that I do like using it's called ArtStation uh, it is it has pretty high quality content you can do the same and check for uh, Elf Warrior or anything else uh, it has it has less content. It has a better quality f overall, but less content. Uh, even though here is not that obvious, but still, it's got some mm, couple of good stuff. Um, just about every single single one person will have their actual name. Uh, I don't know about Destiny Shiraishi, but maybe. Um, look at this one. Um, so you can you can find credits even more easy easily um, Ian Civic or Civic Civic um, created a bioengineered elf so make that your Simic design if you will um, and that's pretty cool so that's for illustrations um, I think that is most of it uh, let me check I had a tip that was given to me a little bit ago by uh, a friend from uh, fine artist actual name by googling the DeviantArt username. Yeah, that's close enough to what I was saying. Stock a little bit on the um, on the artists. Um, and if you find the art on DeviantArt, you save an image. The it has the username username in the file name. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. If you find a Devi DeviantArt file from somewhere else, you'll have the name. But usually, if you're the one finding the image, you can see the the user. I didn't pick the best user, did I? pretty pretty naughty stuff over here um, so supposedly if I save this image it has Max Budulenko in the name so if you find one from somewhere else you find the username um, like I said I do like whoops uh, I do like following the profile to find that yes it is Max Budulenko even though this one is the same uh, username as the actual person name uh, this situation is sweet so there you go um, sometimes when I'm really desperate I will do Google image search uh, it's uh, unfortunate that oh boy what am I looking at now um, so Google image where in no you just do Google and then you type image you type Elf warrior um, and you'll find a bunch of stuff Fortunately for um, fantasy elves, etc., you're going to find lots of illustrations. But um, for things that are more uh, generic, uh, maybe you know gorilla. If you look for uh, a beast, you're going to find actual pictures, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, and illustration might work. This one is more hit and miss. Um, illustration barely works. Um, you can do an old school kind of design with this. Uh, they used to kind of look like that, uh, the old cards. Um, or comic book, uh, that's interesting. See, though, so there's a couple of things to do. Uh, note that uh, what's cool with Google um, Image is that you can also go into advanced search, I think. Nope. Or actually, I could, but m oh, that, this, this has changed. So yeah, uh, advanced search, you can do color in the image any color, full color, black and white. Uh, it used to be m more 
see so purple purple typed uh, images so that can help because in magic you you can really want um, an illustration that has the tone of the the color you want to associate it with so that's that that one is pretty practical unfortunately the hits themselves uh, on on Google image are not nearly as good uh, just because it, it it, they don't know what that you're looking for illustrations whereas on Deviant art uh, if you're in the digital art or if you find an artist that does digital art you you'll have the type of picture you're expecting this one is pretty sweet too boobies as well though um, those are a few tips um, I think that's the most of what I wanted to discuss today um, I do not know much about creating templates um, this is not something I've done much uh, or at all. Um, those, oh, oh yes, something else, something else, something else. That's gonna be our last probably. Um, if you want to find names, uh, guess what? With um, uh, role, uh, tabletop role-playing games, there's a lot, and also uh, MMOs, there's a lot of name generators out there. So um, if you want orc name generator, boom, it exists. Uh, um, not an image, thank you. Uh, warmer, maybe not, but you'll find. Whoa, okay. Sometimes it happens like this: like you find tons of generators, but otherwise, this is the this is what I've uh, asked for. More, okay, more. Agrog, Agog, Ugzugs, Magada. Uh, don't hesitate to mix and match what you find. Gloom, Fist, <laughs> Gloom, Haka. Um, the warmer org names are pretty special. Merzod, yeah, they all they all like kind of cool. Ragdoom, um, and what you can do is, uh, if you look for town name, um, you can still go generate org name and find something you like. Ragdoom, you know, if you want to convey a specific uh, type of uh, feeling, uh, don't hesitate to just search for something else than exactly what you were supposed to um, target for. Face cracker, oh yeah, um, neat. And uh, with that, we have um, illustrations, we have uh, modified illustration, and we have um, uh, mostly that and credit. Uh, and then we can make our card. Um, obviously, then the rest is up to you. Uh, we have our editor symbol, we have our keyword, we have everything. So I hope that helps. Um, couple tips uh, if you know more please do tell me um, I do want to share the good stuff um, and uh, yeah give me your feedback and tell me if you didn't get anything if you want more links I'll put uh, them uh, in the in the video on YouTube um, and that's about it so um, yeah do share your tips I'll see you next week for episode 172 mm -hmm, of Ominous Designs thanks for watching see you next time responsibly.